Hello, this is going to be a long video. Hey, yesterday <coughs> I <coughs> I started with the Netflix movie Blair Witch, and it it reminded me of some movies that I have watched before and I had had to go to my YouTube Historics to find them. It was a long, 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 long way to go back and uh, I found them and after I have had found them I asked myself, have I really watched the Blair Witch proje Project? Because I have feel that I have watched it, but have I? No. So I paid the price to watch it from, from Google Movies and uh, the funny thing from that is, is because of that, I saw it. It took quite a long time to reveal uh, this blurage and to search those videos that I have previously watched and to watch the Blur Witch project. It took so ta much time that uh, I took my dogs out much. Uh, sorry, I don't remember the word. Not earlier, but <laughs> I uh, went to my animal room where I have my aquariums it was late more late than normally and uh, around three hour, hours later and my <laughs> six, 600 liters aquarium was leaking for, from the bottom there so I had to fix I, I went to my there's outside I have another house there yes I'm looks like I'm that rich I am not I have a, another house there I have old aquariums that are empty I took one of those inside filled it with that old water from that leaking aquarium and I had to catch fishes size of this Fish, you know the fish stories, but Oscars, you know Oscars, Oscars are big, so I had to catch them and really relocate those fishes to that old aquarium. So lucky, lucky me, I was watching. Blair Witch movies that reminded me of Blair Witch and Blair Witch Project. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to cut this. This is an envelope I have had bills and I make my writings here and all my writings are in Finnish so I have to translate those ideas in English <laughs> and who knows what I write I, I cannot even myself know that what 
where shall I start? I, I drink mead during this. There's no alcohol in this. This is uh, Perinteinen. What's Perinteinen in English? Oh my god, I need this. It, uh, the clock was around 3 at night when I got to sleep. And you know it's not easy to catch fish big like this. Okay? Blair Witch Project. Blair Witch, where I started this, my happy trip from 2016. <coughs> <coughs> I have I have uh, been in forests <coughs> all, <coughs> all my life alone. <laughs> There's nothing that I am scared of. I have heard the bear whistle, you know, when the bear <sighs> it has that kind of whistle when it smells. Oh, there's some humans there! <coughs> And it gives you that kind of whistle. And I have heard, I know there has been wolves, I know there has been other animals, but for some reason I have never been scared to be alone in the forest, to be with humans. I'm afraid all the time. Okay. Uh, okay. If you have a, we are speaking of this uh, Blair Witch. If you are with many uh, a group of people in a forest, why do you bring? That's just, I don't understand why you bring single tents with you. Why don't you all be in the same tent? Because, you know, the tent keeps to warm. Luckily, in the Blair Witch Pro Project 2019-99, sorry my English, uh, it, uh, this idea was presented better. <coughs> I, I think it was a real uh, touch. But let's get back to the play which 2016. Uh, why? If you are in the dark forest, why? <laughs> Why you put the lamp in your eyes? Oh, why I cannot see anything? Oh, with this I maybe can see. I see the light. I see the light. I see the light. Why you blind yourself with that light? That's not... If you put the light off, your eyes settles with the darkness and you see quite well in the dark. <laughs> Two of my dogs are here. Uh, why you uh, why you uh why you wear those uh, what's the word master asu 
those green clothes that soldier, soldiers normally use. If you are, uh, if you are not going to hunt there, if you are not going to hunt there, and you are not uh, going to be invisible, why you wear that green clothes? There's no point in that. Because you want to be seen, yes. <laughs> All my life, I have had red hair, mostly, most, most, most of my life, I have had red hair, and people have said, it's, it's. I am lucky to have <laughs> red hair that uh, hunters. Don't shoot me as a <laughs> deer or such. <coughs> it's good when you are in the forest, when you are in the wild. You want to be seen if you don't want to shoot things. Uh, and I'm not sure. Does deer see see bright colors? Do you know? Humans do. Okay. In this Blair Witch, I loved how I would like to know what batteries they are using because they were quite good my batteries are good are not that long lasting as there was in this Blair Witch project in 1999 they said they have bag full of batteries so it was for me more real than this 16 part you don't see when I point it but anyway <sighs> if you get a piece of something in your food when you are in the forest you don't continue that You just have to be insane. You have to be st so stupid that you cannot brush your teeth if you continue your trip after you have hurt yourself in the foot. <laughs> Uh, I um, know it's important in this found footage system that there is something to be found oh. <laughs> but still it's quite odd that when you are in the small tube and fighting for your life you find a priority to catch the moment Blair Witch 2016 uh, for me uh, it was good there was some flaws, but it was good. It was not bad. Uh, I liked when the time had odd shifting there. I like, I like the time physics. 
I like the black holes, I like the uh, warm holes, I like the idea of <coughs> because my my big because of my brain damage I don't have linear time I sense sense my time differently than no, normal people so for me that when the time bends somehow is my normal life so I understood and I liked the part on this Blair Witch 2016 And uh, and I liked a lot when when they were in the house and there was the slide. There there was no uh, uh, why there was this light, but I loved it. It made me feel good. Uh, Play Witch 2016 when there was 22 minutes left in the movie it proved that there is something that is not only in their mind because there was, was this camera and the camera captured it that the girl was taken away by somebody someone and not human because it was so so then it proved there is something more than humans or animals uh, the picture was distorted and they went to the house so this was some kind of time shift to that house um, for some reason I see too much in this life really too much you don't want to know and uh, and for me this 2016 movie it reflects my feelings about if you do not watch you survive I have had these uh, nightmares where bad more than you think now more bad things happen and I know that if I look other way I survive and that is something I do not want to believe in but I think that somehow how this society works some odd way that if you look other way you survive and uh, I feel like this movie is about that I feel like this movie is about that something that has happened before is that house house is quite normal symbol of the things that matters for you and uh, and you should let go I don't believe those things that you should let go I think you should be even with yourself and that's not that easy that's not easy it's easier to not to look that's the easy way to look 
and not to act is not easy and not that's quite bad to look and act is not really not safe in this world so I don't know what's the right thing to do um, Blair Witch 2016 reminded me I put the links down be below this video for you to watch if you are crazy enough to watch this whole video Okay. Duat Loves Pass 2013. Uh, I love Duat Loves Pass. It, it has so many same structures. <laughs> this if you if you are not if you get triggered easily, don't look any of these. Chernobyl Diaries 2012. What? 1, 2, 12? Uh, sorry, my English. Chernobyl Diaries. It has uh, the stream you have to go. Why is there always that stream? I don't know. Perhaps I know, but every every movie has that stream. You have to go over. And this movie, I really, really, really uh, don't watch if you are you you are easy triggered. <laughs> the tunnel. That. Oh, the tunnel, that's amazing movie. The Wicked. And this is a bad, bad, bad movie to watch if you are easily triggered. Evidence. Okay, I think these all are quite same-like, follows the same structure follows the same idea and are for me easy to watch <coughs> Blair Witch Project 1999 was indeed very well done there was a lot of structures I liked a lot. And it follows that idea that I'm scared to open my eyes. And I'm scared to close my eyes. <laughs> Isn't that life? To sleep or not to sleep? Well, not not the same, but anyway. Um, I found Doc 33, the sp spin-off the Blair Witch Project, quite enjoyable to watch. I put the links down below. Um, I loved, I so loved the idea that why that girl wanted to film everything and the boy in the end of this film said that she wanted to uh, handle the truth through the camera lens. I have found my life easier through cam. 
I don't photograph humans at all, but I photograph this life, leaves, snow, halos in the sky, storms. Uh, that's an important part for me to see this life through lens. What I'm doing here now, right now. And uh, that was kind of a moment for me in this Blair Witch Project movie. Why it's important for me. <coughs> then th uh, these movies have this uh, normal cultural structure that nature is something that is uh, you want to beat nature is something that you want to overcome nature is something that you have to be afraid and what is nature is uh, nature is, is nature something that you are and you see when you go to the forest you feel yourself as you are and you have to fight it so when I was 13 years old I hit my head I was uh, more than a week in coma and after 20, 25, 25 years old I started to be what I am now So, to see what is normal and what is not normal, normal is culture, structure, and not normal is nature, may I ask? I would like to add here, uh, you are naked, you don't have those structures around you. You don't have any refrigerator, you don't have any oven, you don't have any uh, water closet, bed to go. And to this day, I found it quite nice. <coughs> <coughs> what those boys thought when they were in the cave in Thailand. Tham Luang cave. What those boys have in their mind? Food. What are these people thinking when they think that everything that is uh, holds them together as uh, as individuals that they uh, have trust in? What they think? They think meatballs. They think ice cream, they think, they think hamburgers, those are all cultural things. And of course hunger, hunger is hunger, but um, in nature you find food, that's shared, certain. But when you are a human in the middle of uh, things where you don't know what happens, you want to think hamburger. You know, it it has this construction of culture. Maybe you, if, if is it possible that I don't have to explain it no more? And this movie has this. Uh, we create our trust in our life, in stories. I am not speaking of religion only. We do believe in Santa Claus. We do believe in taxes. We do believe in politics. We do believe in love. We do believe in uh, tomorrow. 
we we believe in stories and they are speaking of those witches if we wish if we go that way or that way which one of those witches were good or oh, based on that story that i have heard when i was a child that witch were good so we go there so our culture uh, our self-image how we reflect ourselves as individuals is based on story and uh, not just bible stories stories overall this is full of stories and my dog is from the stories. This is full of stories. I have studied the industrial of of products, and it's the stories that make you believe in something, not the product. The product may uh, whatever, but if it does not have the story that you know and makes you believe in it, it's nothing for you, and that's uh, that. That's why I don't believe in this one. And. Uh, idea of the tooth ripped off the um, everybody I, I suppose have dreams about losing the tooth because uh, we all have loosed tooth when we were young <coughs> and it's um, it's quite important for us in, in so many levels <coughs> I could continue this more and more and more but I seen I have spent half an hour with this I love this oh. but I put some links down below if you are interest uh, if you l liked the movie with the Blair Witch project 1999 you quite certainly love these movies that I put they are in YouTube and uh, Blair Witch 2016 in Netflix it was good there was some annoying things it was good it raised very good questions to have mm. yep have a nice day I publish this next <coughs> <coughs> take care make your world a better place bye bye